Well, um, a good win for our guys. Uh, we have the utmost respect for how Illinois has played here in the last month and some change. They've been one of the most difficult teams to not only prepare for but compete against. And watching them on film, there's so much improved, and you can tell how coach has done a great job just getting those young guys to kind of believe in what they do. And you know, for us tonight, though, you know, I thought our guys handled the ball really well. Starts with handling the ball and taking care of it. I thought Rob Finnessy did a really good job early on in controlling the tempo. He made some plays, and then I think he made the game comfortable for us. You know, the only turn it over seven times in here uh, was a surprise, to be honest with you. But we scored. Obviously, the first half was a team that needed a team really. I didn't think they did a great job defensively being able to get stops, but in particular, our defense wasn't as good tonight. And uh, the fact that we were able to score the ball, you know, speaks volumes about our guys just being able to take care of it. Step one. That's what they did a good job of. But we, we rebounded the ball pretty well. And then we had some guys really make some unselfish plays. And, you know, I credit to 17 assists. She had 11 to 0 with Devontae and Rob. That was really big. Questions? We have microphones on each side of the room. Please raise your hand. You have a middle. <coughs> Archie, have you ever had a team score 52 points in the paint like you, like you did tonight? And what was the key to making that happen? I'm not sure if I've ever had a team score 52 points, but you know these guys force you to take threes or layups. You know, with the way that their defense is set up, with the overplaying and all the pressure, you got to put the ball on the floor. And I thought our spacing was pretty good, and I thought our guys did a decent job of being able to get all the way to the basket. And the second part of that was Duran and Juwan also did a good job establishing themselves. I thought with some post ups and some easy ones in the first half as well, and then. You know, transition opportunities off our defense created some more layups. But it was more along the lines of how you have to attack them. I thought we took way too many threes early in the game, and I thought we made a much better job at the end of the half and in the second half not taking as many threes quick. Right here. Uh, Coach, Finn last nine games, I think it's 263 minutes, five total turnovers. Why has he been that good uh, as a freshman? Um, he's poised and he's very strong with the ball, and he's safe. You know, he doesn't care for the highlight real play. Uh, sometimes he misses the guy who he's supposed to play to just because he's playing safe. But he's a true point guard in the sense that he takes care of the ball. He tries to run your team. And I think as the season's now finishing here, you're starting to see the guy that was at the beginning of the season that was making a lot of plays for us early. He's got himself back, which is a key for our late run here in our last however many games. He's on the floor 30-some minutes. is a big deal for us. I guess to follow up on that, he talks about the way he controlled tempo. For you, obviously, the, the no turnovers is a big thing, but also just not getting sped up against this Illinois team. I mean, I don't want to say it's surprising for him because you've seen him play kind of all season, but what does it say about a freshman point guard to, to go against this kind of pressure and not ever really seem kind of sped up? Well, he does a good job. He's strong enough where he puts the guy on his hip, and he has a, a unique ability to stop and start. He sort of has a little herky jerkiness to him where he can stop, start, and then burst again. And, I thought he used his dribble wisely tonight. He didn't pick it up. A big key with Illinois is if you pick your dribble up, that's when things get really crazy. He kept his dribble alive a lot in the possessions that, that saved us, and he was able to either get a layup or able to just break something free. But um, he keeps his dribble alive. He's very, very strong. You can't knock him off his ground. And I thought just our other guys, just in general, our spacing throughout the course of the game allowed us to have a little bit more room to deal with him.